Greetings, folks, from a beautiful winery in the Carneros region of Napa, California. This is the Madonna Estate Winery. Today, they're celebrating a hundred years of being here. And there's going to be a little celebration out here, and I'm going to join in the fun. Come along with me. This winery has a beautiful outdoor patio. One of the things I like best about the wineries in this region is many of them do have a seating area outdoors where you can enjoy nature. Actually, there's a lot of road noise here as well. <laughs> but a beautiful seating area and I'm sure it will soon be full of people at this celebration. I'm going to go over here and look at the artwork. There's a cool metal sculpture got the uh, grape leaves and the grapes. Over here looks like a little extension of it, or it's probably a whole separate sculpture, but it certainly complements the first one. Here's a bit of a whimsical metal sculpture that I like. <laughs> Let's get a close-up of this guy. And that one. <laughs> this must be one of their working tractors that they take out into the vineyards and it's here for photos today. It's almost time to go in. I'll take you in there in just a moment. There's another outdoor seating area over here. There is some wine tasting going on so I won't bother them. As you can see there was umbrellas, there were umbrellas there, and some shade, so that's nice. Okay, coming inside, we get a glass and three tastings. Complimentary. First stop is the rosé and the guiverstaminer and the muscat canelli. This table shows the tools of the trade when they're out in the vineyards. This is a dark cellar, but they do have a self-guided tour. So let's see what we can see. There was a movie back there that talked about the history of the people who founded the winery. It was very interesting, but I didn't want to talk over it, so I passed it by. Here's a wine, white wine press. Fermentation room here. Look at those big, big barrels. You see a lot of these tours here in wine country, Napa, California. Also in our surrounding areas. There are many, many, many wineries around here. This one says Red Wine Press. There's no docent actually explaining what these barrels do, so I'm just kind of taking my stroll through. Got to watch your head here. This is called a de-stemmer, taking the stems off of the grape clusters. Gosh, I wish I could tell you more about what everything does, but I don't know all the details. Okay, they're calling this the barrel room. Floor to ceiling, oak barrels. And at the end of this row, we've got some good looking little snacks.
Okay, I've ventured inside and they do have a lovely spot indoors here for tasting. I am ahead of the crowd, so I beat everybody else in here. Let's take a look out here. Oh wow, here's the spot to be. I'm gonna remember this. Okay, you guys, when you come up to visit me, we're coming here and sitting out on our private patio. How about that? All you people that like wine tasting. Okay, I'm gonna take a little time out here for some cheese and chocolate. Oh my God, the cheeses are delicious. I just had the Parmesan and there's one with a kick that had um, spicy stuff in it. What was that spicy stuff? Mike's Firehouse, Jeff. It's got jalapeno, red pepper, cilantro, and parsley. Oh my God, it was so good. Oh, delicious tasting here. Thank you. Okay, it's starting to get crowded, so I'm going to try to stay out of everybody's way. But you can see there's different tables to try different wines. <laughs> and here's the chocolate table. Looks like these chocolates are from Annette's, which is downtown Napa, one of our favorites. At this point, I'm just people watching. <laughs> and enjoying the wine and the ambiance. Okay, this is great. I now have the opportunity to watch the movie, which is a slideshow of the history of the people who started this winery and who had lives around here. We're going back a hundred years, folks a lot of history. Okay, you guys, I'm doing the tour all over again. After watching that movie, I was just really, really moved by the dedication and the passion that these people have had for their, their winery and expanding it and growing the grapes and building a community around it. Um, it's just, it's just amazing what this family has done over a hundred years. Okay, folks, that was a long day. <laughs> Turned out to be a lot longer than I thought, but it was a wonderful day. Good music, good food, great wine, nice place. I met a lot of nice people, met up with some people I knew. So that's it for now. So from Madonna Estates at their 100 year anniversary and at their tractor. I guess this is the good place to end the video. Thanks for coming along with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.